Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, coming to you live from Saigon. And today I'd like to talk about tribute watches. <coughs> and uh, my good friend Greg Kinder, he came along this to this Vietnam tour and uh, he turns up and says, oh, I got a new watch. And uh, Greg's done this a few times. He's always bought fucking dog shit. He's bought some real horrors. This time he turns up, he's got an Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, the Casino Royale 007 version. Now, Greg, this is this is this is the newest watch Greg's just you bought. Got it upside down. No, 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 no. That's, that's the right way. Is it? It's the right way. How come it's? A, oh yeah, it's, it's a reverse. This is camera, Greg. If you remember that, okay? Yeah. That's what the viewers are seeing. So you can see that watch. It's the Omega, it's a Planet Ocean, Casino Royale, James Bond edition, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a Planet Ocean? It's it a is. Planet Ocean, it's a 2500 movement. 2500, that's the, the, the intermediate movement, isn't it? Yes. It's the Casino Royale. Now, I, I've often said don't buy anything. It didn't have the ordinary ones. What did I think of it? What did I think? I think it's a bit tacky with 007 on the second hand. It's a little bit... I don't know about these limited editions that Omega releases, you know? They kind of, in my opinion, I said to Greg, I said, Greg, I would have preferred the non-limited edition, you know, to put Casino Royale on it. It's kind of a bit tacky. What? Can you judge a man by his wristwatch? Yes! Can you judge a man by his wristwatch? And uh, I'd like to discuss this. Hmm. And uh, for example, a man who wears a James Bond Seamaster. He's delusional. He lives at home with mummy. And he drops, if he's not at home with mummy, he brings his ironing home to mummy to do every fortnight. And that, that's kind of the way I feel with these, these, uh, commercial sort of versions there, you know, they're kind of, they're a bit tacky, they are a bit tacky, and uh, I don't mind the watch, don't get me wrong, I think the Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean that Greg has got is a lovely piece, he's always bought fucking dog shit, just a bit tacky and I mean if you wanted to get really nasty you could say well Archie hang on a minute there your Omega Speedmaster professional man on the fucking moon well isn't that a tribute to the NASA NASA uh, moon landing 